morning campers so here we are again so like i was saying uh we're back on the trail i got up with these guys this morning mainly because like i said they have the mapping system uh so they get up early like at 5 30. we were on the trail by about six ish so of course it's still dark so that's why i didn't do any videoing this morning right away and uh now i'm just uh, we're just trying to get back on the cdt so yeah i've been following those guys and yeah uh, they've been keeping me on the right path and then once i get back we can kind of just not separate but you know go back to doing our own thing again you know but yeah you don't want to be out here without a map you know obviously although the trail is very well marked and uh it's a good trail so it's not it's not too bad i mean i could probably do it but it's sure nicer having uh being with people that have the maps with them never ever thought i would need some, an extra map you know may have to may have to do that later who knows we will see so what's the plan for today well plan is get back on the cdt and uh yeah do i guess as many miles as i can and uh keep heading south and and uh obviously we're gonna do the ultimate the circuit circuit towers i think it's called the circ they call it for short um which is meant to be one of the highlights of the cdt so that's kind of the plan but yeah the trail today is basically through the trees where we were came from the other day so yeah okay guys talk to you later Just knocked over my stove. Water was just about boiling and knocked it over. Oh, how cool is that, eh? It's not bothered by us, for sure. Hey guys, it's pretty exciting seeing that moose, eh? I thought so anyway. So, those guys, uh, they've already taken off. Um, and we're back to, on the CDT. And kind of back to our little routine that we had, you know, I'll probably see him for lunch. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get going here. I just had breakfast, so that was nice. Um, yeah, feeling good. And uh, we'll keep on, keep on moving. Keep on heading south. Okay, talk to you guys later. I'll just show you guys what I'm kind of leaving behind. That's behind me. There's sort of the lake here and these hills in the background. And I thought, yeah, this is, this is a really nice area. The Wind River Range, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Really glad to be here. And then the trail is right here. Small trail, not as well populated. We've seen one guy this morning. I can't remember his name. He he's not he's not doing the, he's he's a through hiker, but he's not doing the CDT. He's just doing a section. It was a name he called it, but I can't remember. Yeah, that's what it looks like, guys. Talk to you later. I know this is kind of much of the same, but it's a little different. I thought still nice. Kind of going through these rolling valleys here. I had lunch with uh, Fluffy and uh, Roblox, so they're up ahead there. Actually, they're just up ahead, so yeah. But uh, no, here's the trail. A little cloudy overhead. 
Maybe we'll get an afternoon shower. Have to wait and see. I guess we're going to try and get to Big Sandy Lake or something, which was 11 miles from where we had lunch. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, talk to you later. I thought this is pretty nice. This is Pipestone Lakes we're at. Pretty, pretty nice. Hope the rain holds off. <laughs> There we are. Hi guys. So, just give you a quick update. Before it gets too dark, because I got, we got stuff to do. You know, that's what's killing me here, is the days are getting shorter, but we still have to do the same miles, right? You know, that's, that's the thing. So anyway, we're at, we figured out we're probably Probably around 25 miles for the day, maybe 24, you know, somewhere 23, 24, 20, somewhere around about there. Because of course we had to go, we only got a little ways in last night, like basically you could say a couple of hours. So, I mean, if you go three miles an hour, that's only six miles, right? And then we, and then it was oh, 10 o'clock before we actually hit the trail like the official CDT. So, you know, that, that, and we, we left this morning at 10 after six. Like we were, we were left leave, leaving the campsite. So, you know, that's a, that's four hours. So anyway, and we're not far away from our campsite tonight, which is going to be at Sandpoint Lake. And, uh, yeah, if I get a chance to, do a little good night, you know. I will certainly do that. But uh, like I said, I have a bit to do. You know, by the time I go and get water, get the tent set up, you know, because you want to do that before it gets dark. Um, and then, you know, by the time you cook supper, before you know it, it's like it's getting dark already. So anyway, that's why I thought I'd just do a quick video here and uh, uh, let you know what's going on. And uh, yeah, so, Basically, I've kind of showed you the sights for the day, but we had quite a few blowdowns to go around. Like, there's been, not crazy, but, you know, things that slow you up. And there uh, have been a few uphills, you know, and that all slows things down just a little bit. I wonder if this is the lake here. Mm, I'm not sure if this is the lake, but look at that. There is not a breath of wind. It's just calm and, yeah. So, I'm not sure if this is the lake or not. I'll have to take a look at the map. And, but yeah. Okay, talk to you later. Hey guys, so here we are. We're at Big Sandy Point. Big Sandy Point Lake, or Sandy Point Lake. Sorry, Sandy Point Lake. And I don't know if you can see those people over there, but those are the three ladies I talked to at Peak Lake. And I gave them a lighter. And we are, we are at the beach resort right here. You can see uh, Roblox got her tent all set up. She's going to be doing margaritas later. And uh, Fluffy is going to be putting the steaks on. It's a party over here, I tell you. No, we'll be having couscous. <laughs> okay, talk to you guys later.